In the light of Sunday's explosion in Abuladu, Lagos, Nigeria, stakeholders are concerned about the poor health sector funding and emergency response system in Nigeria. To salvage the situation, Health Emergency Initiative and Sterling Bank take the initiative to provide post-crash care to critically injured accident victims and timely intervention for indigent patients with primary health care cases. About 500 people we have assisted so far. Many of them um, had just a need for drug of 5,000 naira, 3,000 naira. And they, in some of the hospitals, there is a rule that you will only treat when somebody has made a deposit. So if you don't have, if you don't have, if you have the comfort, the guarantee that HEI will provide that seed fund when you take an accident victim off the road and you get to the hospital, you will not hear no base space. You will not hear, um, um, you see the gate locked because there is nobody to make deposit. So HEI stands as nest of kin. And the partnership with HEI actually has been on, we've been discussing all this even before these particular emergencies that happened. The emergencies that happened just buttresses uh, uh, the need for the partnership. It also validates our judgment in getting into a partnership with uh, uh, an, an, an NGO that's focused in um, addressing emergency cases in health, which is one area that we are quite low in this country, and Sterling Bank is fully in support of it. We're putting our muscles behind it. We're putting our brains behind it to see how we can deal the issues of lack of emergency responses in Nigeria. The FRSC and the Lagos Ambulance Management Agency agree that the intervention is critical to improving health emergencies across the country. It is a preventive um, initiative, giving health rather than people dying as a result of not having adequate health care. And that is why FRSC feels we need to partner with them. Because I never have enough resources when it comes to ambulance vehicles. So even if we have a state where we have 50 ambulance vehicles and we take them to hospitals and we keep queuing, queuing to be attended to because the patients don't have money, then there will be no ambulance in the field to attend to other victims. So what the chair is doing by providing seed fund for care for each individual that has an emergency, I think frees us, it allows us to operate in a better, you know, scope. This position is also in concert with the general consensus by other stakeholders that health emergency response is everybody's business. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa.